Hello Taurus, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid so this can either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Taurus currently view this relationship? Let's see Taurus. So we do have the Ace of Pentacles. We got the Knight of Pentacles and then we also have the Four of wands the bottom of the deck we do have the uh star we also have the two of cups and then we also have the five of cups and then we also have the tower with the seven of cups ooh, with the nine of pentacles and then we also have the uh queen of wands to the nine of swords okay so there's a whole lot going on um taurus i want to focus on i want to focus on this first and then i'll break um this energy down over here so Taurus there's somebody here that you are romantically involved with and whoever this person is that you're romantically involved with it's somebody that you have a lot of love for it's someone that you know once upon a time you legit thought like oh my god like this is the one like this is the one that I've been waiting for my whole entire life like I feel like this person this connection genuinely made you feel that way however right the moment that you started experiencing um let down after let down after disappointment after disappointment i feel like it drastically changed i would say your perception of this relationship and your perception of this person to the point where a lot of you kind of found yourself thinking to yourself like what the hell am i doing here with this person what the hell am i doing here with this person why am i here right now you know a lot of you genuinely started to also feel like you would be 10 times better without them in your life um, than you would with them in your life okay so with all of that being said okay um i feel like you're still with this person you know despite the fact that you experienced letdown after letdown disappointment after disappointment despite the fact that there was times man where you found yourself questioning yourself as to what the hell you were even doing here with this person okay I feel like you're still with them, okay? Now, let's talk about this Ace of Pentacles uh, to the Knight of Pentacles. There's someone in particular that you're feeling really, really drawn to. Now, whoever this person is that you're feeling really, really drawn to, it's someone... It's someone that you feel very safe and secure with. It's someone that you feel can provide you with a long-term and stable relationship um not only do you feel like this person's relationship could provide you with all of that but a lot of you basically feel like this person that you're feeling really drawn to they basically possess what you're looking for and what this one over here lacks makes sense to the point where you're starting to kind of feel like damn like the grass more than likely is greener on the other side but let me double check first before i do anything like that's like the vibe that i'm kind of getting here uh from you i hate to blow your spot up but that's exactly what i'm getting here from you is that the grass does appear to be greener on the other side because this person yeah they do possess a lot they were looking for within a person it just so happens um that this one over here kind of lacks what you're actually looking for within a person so you know then there's that um but yeah, this is you just kind of tiptoeing right to the other side of the yard because you just so happen to notice, you know what I mean, that the grass is kind of looking a little bit greener over there, but you're not entirely sure if it actually is. Uh, so it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like before you make any sort of impulsive decisions as far as like leaving this person is concerned, you just want to confirm that the grass is actually greener on the other side um, before you do absolutely anything. All right, let's keep going. How does this person currently view this relationship? So we have the, wow, the first thing that came to my mind is a moth to a flame, a moth to a flame. This one over here has a very difficult time staying away from you, my friend. They have a very difficult time staying away from you. The bottom of the deck, we do have the six of wands. We also have the judgment card. For some of you, uh, this person that you're feeling really drawn, drawn to, it could represent somebody that you already have a lot of history with. That's definitely a possibility, especially with the judgment card coming out here. That's a possibility that you and this person already have a lot of history with one another. You guys recently decided to reconnect with one another. You know, that's definitely a possibility. Now, if this is a new person, it's, then it's a new person. Um, but this, this one over here, man, it's like... It, it's like they feel so drawn to you 
to the point where it's causing them to feel like the reason why they feel so drawn to you, the reason why they just love being around you, the reason why they're just so obsessed with your energy must be because you're basically the one for them. You know, that's just kind of how they're kind of breaking it down to themselves anyways, okay? Um, so then there's that. Then there's that. There's this freaking song. It just came to me and it left. At the moment that I looked at this Ace of Cups and this Queen of Cups, uh, this song came to me. It just literally came and it left. I know it's by Jagged, Ed Jagged Edge Jesus. Um, what's the name of that freaking song? I think that it's called He Can't Love You. I think that that's what it's called. I think that that's what it's called. I'm not entirely sure. But I think that that's what it's called. But that's like the, the first thing that kind of came to my mind when I looked at this um, Ace of Cups and this uh, Queen of Cups energy. This person views you as somebody who's very loving, as somebody who's very nurturing, um, as somebody who's very gentle, um, soft-spoken. I'm also kind of getting that very soft-spoken on top of that. You know, you do possess a lot that this person's basically looking for within a person. In other words, honey. Okay, so... Let's see how you're currently feeling. Man, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Um, You know what? Actually, I'm going to look into the Two of Cups because I want to see if I can get a court card for the person that you're currently connecting with. But anyways, uh, we have the Emperor. We have the uh, Two of Swords. We also have the Five of Pentacles. And then we also have the Sun out here. So this person that you're feeling really drawn to, they're basically an Emperor. Now, this person might be older than you. If they're not older than you, they just might have more life experience than you do. You know, that's definitely a possibility. But in regards to how you're currently feeling... It kind of looks like, again, you're not making any sort of impulsive decisions as of right now in regards to, like, your current situation. Um, and it's mainly because you're trying to, like, figure out, would you be better off with this person or should you just continue to stay with the person that you're currently with? Um, that's something that you are currently trying to figure out. You know, you know that this person's into you. You know this person's interested. Um, you know that this person wants to be with you. But your whole thing is, is that you're just trying to figure out, like... Is the grass actually green on the other side? I just need to know. I just need to know because I just don't want to make a mistake, okay? Um, I do want to look at the uh, Five of Pentacles. Okay. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Eight of Cups. And then we also have the Magician. Mm. The bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, Ten of Cups. We also have the Seven of Swords. Uh, and then we also have the Lovers with the... Um, Eight of Pentacles. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to look into this person a little bit more, but I feel like this is uh, the person that you're currently connecting with, okay? Um, in their eyes, they kind of feel like you're acting very suspicious, okay? Um, and, and with that being said, it's causing them to essentially feel like something's up. Every time I see like the Seven of Swords right next to the Eight of Pentacles, that to me kind of feels like an overall energy of somebody who feels like something's up, feels like something's going on and doing their research and doing their digging to find out what the hell is actually going on, okay? Um, this one over here knows you like the back of their hand. Okay. Uh, they know when you're hiding something and they know when you're not. Um, they know that they know when you're up to no good and they know when you're not. You know what I mean? Um, I just kind of feel like you've just been acting different. You've just been acting different. Um, I am kind of getting like an overall energy of you being a little like MIA, nowhere to be found type of situation. And I kind of feel like that in itself is like raising like a massive red flag for this person. Uh, that you currently find yourself connecting with. You've been a little MIA um, lately. And it's causing them to kind of feel like, yeah, something's going on. Something's going on. Something's going on. Let me look at this person that you're currently connecting with, though. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Death card. Uh, we do have the uh, Two of Pentacles. And then we also have the Eight of Wands. Hmm. I just kind of feel like um, the main reason why this person is like doing their digging and their research has a lot to do with the fact that they're just trying to kind of figure out like, are they are they tripping? Are they bugging right now? Or is there something really going on? Um, and I feel like this is kind of why this person's kind of, you know, doing their digging here. Because yes, they're, they're noticing a drastic shift within you, but it's like they're trying their hardest to not make assumptions here. They're trying their hardest to not get too carried away with themselves. Like even though, yeah, you've been a little bit MIA, um, and even though, yeah, there's times where you're like, you know, you disappear and you're nowhere to be found, they're still trying their hardest to not like 
think the worst, you know what I mean? Um, they just want answers, point blank, period, and they're not going to stop until they get those answers. Now, it kind of looks like you're dealing with a king of swords. Okay. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Gemini, possibly an Aquarius, maybe even a Libra. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case, though. Okay. So, with all that being said, is this person that you currently find yourself feeling drawn to in, in, in some way, shape, or form better than this person that you currently find yourself connecting with? Yes. Now, in what aspect are they better? Um, I have no idea. But if it's one thing that I will say is that there's levels to this. So we have like the King of Wands that comes out first, and then we have the King of Swords that follows. And that's when we hit... Um, King of Cups status, uh, King of Pentacles status, and then boom, that's when we hit Emperor status. So with all of that being said, in some way, shape, or form, yes, this new person is definitely better than them because you, you go from a King of Swords to an Emperor, right? So that's basically, um, that's basically technically speaking, um, an upgrade, I guess, if you would, if you want to call it, um, you're definitely upgrading technically speaking, if you were to get with this person, um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe this emperor makes more money than them. Maybe this emperor, um, maybe this emperor is emotionally intelligent. Uh, maybe this emperor is mature. Maybe this emperor, um, is a leader, right? Um, and this one over here lacks direction. You know what I mean? Like in some way, shape or form, this new person that you're feeling drawn to is somewhat better uh than this person i just don't know how you would obviously know how but just kind of throw out like a few examples out there um as to how they could possibly be better i guess uh than this king of swords that you're currently romantically involved with Ooh. how does this person currently feel i'm not gonna take that queen of swords energy all right, so we have the Knight of Cups, we got the Wheel of Fortune, and then we also have the Empress. Two pair situation here between you and this person. I gotta be honest, I really do like this Emperor. Like this Emperor, you know, comes off to me. Um, yeah, this Emperor comes off to me as somebody who wants to see you win, as somebody who wants to see you succeed, as somebody who wants to like push you uh, to become the best version um, of yourself possible, okay? Um, and that's one thing that I would say I really like um, about this Emperor that you currently find yourself connecting with. Um, not only that, but they view you as, you know, somebody who is of their caliber. In other words, you know, this person feels like... Um, they, they bring just as much as you do to the table. In other words, they don't necessarily feel like they're better than you. You don't necessarily feel like, you know, you're better than them. It's like you look at this person as if they're your equal, but they also look at you as if you are their equal. It's like the best way that I can describe uh, what it is that I'm seeing here. Now, if this person is consciously aware, honey, that you're currently married in a relationship, I feel like this person's gonna try their hardest to get you to open your eyes and see that this relationship is actually hurting you. It is not necessarily helping you. It's not helping you grow. It's not helping you evolve. It's just keeping you stuck. It's just keeping you stagnant. It's just keeping you at a very low vibra vibrational place. According to them anyways, I'm not necessarily saying that that is the case, uh, but according to them, that's just kind of how they feel about this relationship and or marriage that you're currently a part of. What actions? Okay. Um, let's, let's, let's talk, Taurus. I kind of feel like in time it is going to be revealed to you that this marriage and a relationship is just simply not serving you in any way, shape, or form. And I kind of feel like not only are they going to highlight that to you, but you're going to basically see it for yourself, which I feel like you've been seeing it, honestly, um, for yourself for quite some time with this relationship. Um, it's just not serving you in any way, shape, or form. Now, with all of that being said, as much as you may not like your marriage, as much as you may not like your relationship and how it makes you feel, you know, um, I see you having a hard time officially walking away from this marriage, officially walking away from this relationship. And it's mainly because it's mainly because you're not necessarily ready to leave what's familiar to you and head towards something that's new. That's kind of what it all boils down to. You know, you're familiar with this person that you're married to. You're familiar with this person that you're currently in a relationship with. Um, 
and having to leave something that's just so freaking familiar to you is just not an easy thing for you to do. It's just not an easy thing for you to do. It's just not. It is just not, okay? Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles, yet again, with the Lovers. We also have the King of Swords, and then we have the Five of Swords. I think that this person suspects, I'll say it like that, I think that this person suspects that you could very well be entertaining someone. Um, I just don't feel like they have any sort of concrete evidence to justify uh, why they feel the way that they feel, okay? This, to me, kind of feels like an overall energy of somebody chasing their own tail around. So whatever it is that you're doing on, on your end, um, is kind of preventing this person from stumbling across the truth. It's like the best way I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Now, what actions will this person take towards Taurus or moving forward? Okay, so we have the Emperor. We got the Page of Pentacles. We also have the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Shushi. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Jesus. I feel like... Okay, let me, I'm just going to say, I'm going to be a straight shooter about it, um, but listen, Taurus, this emperor really, really does want to build with you. This emperor really does want to build with you, but the thing is, is that they can't really be with you in the ways that they want to be with you and build with you in the ways that they want to be, you know, build with you with this one in the way, okay? And so with that being said, I see it, I, I see them making it their mission to get you to see that this, this person is just not for you. This marriage is just not for you. This relationship is just not for you. Um, it's just not. They're going to try their hardest to get you to basically see that. Okay. Um, yeah, they're going to try their hardest to really get you to see this. But with the Ace of Pentacles to the Temperance card coming out here, Taurus, I kind of feel like this person is going to be successful at getting you to basically see that this person is just not good for you. This relationship is just not good for you, um, especially because temperance came out and temperance trumps the devil every single time. You know, I kind of feel like this person is going to open your eyes so much to what you're really dealing with to the point where, yeah, you might find it hard to walk away from this person now. But once you really open your eyes and see how this relationship is really affecting you and how it's really just not serving your highest good, you're not going to have an issue with getting up and walking away. I just kind of feel like you know your relationship ain't the best, but you don't see, you just don't see how much this relationship is honestly like affecting you is kind of what I'm getting, but I feel like they're going to really, really highlight that to you because I kind of feel like you kind of downplay your issues that you have with this person to yourself is kind of what I'm getting. You just don't see how severe, um, yeah, you just don't see how severe your situation actually is because I feel like that's what you do, Taurus. You tend to like downplay your situation to yourself, okay? Um, but this one over here is going to really, really open your eyes and really, really, you know, force you to really see like your situation and how this person is as an individual and how it's basically affecting you and how you shouldn't continue to basically be with them. And like I said, temperance trumps the devil every single time. Uh, so with that being said, um, this person will be able to get you to free yourself from this person once and for all, you know, um, is basically what I'm getting. Now, what's the outcome here between um, Taurus and this King of Swords? Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have the King of Wands, we got the Knight of Cups, we got the Star, and then we also have the Queen of Swords, and then we also have the Hermit out here. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords, we also have the Ten of Cups to the Magician, and then we also have the Queen of Pentacles. So in regards to the outcome, like I said, it kind of looks like you're going to continue to remain with this person. It's mainly because you're not ready to leave what's familiar to you and head towards something that's not familiar to you, aka this emperor. Um, so I, I do kind of see you for the most part, Taurus, uh, pouring your time and energy towards this person, towards this connection. Um, but I also see you continue to pour time and energy towards this marriage that you're currently in or this relationship that you're currently in. Um, I do kind of see you for the most part reassuring this person that you're currently with. Um, 
along the way quite a bit like no like everything's fine and i love you and you're my everything and yada 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 um i kind of see you basically doing that um but i feel like the main reason why you're doing all of that is because you just don't want this person to kind of like suspect that you're currently up to no good and you know the interesting thing is right is that your person already suspects you you're up to no good the thing is is that they're just not letting you know that they suspect that you're up to no good um it is basically what i'm getting so you may think that this person is just sitting around clueless as to like you know um what you could potentially be up to um which listen this is my thing to a degree is there to a degree right it, do they suspect that something's going on absolutely without a shadow of a doubt do they have like a person in mind um that you could very well be entertaining right now absolutely but is there any sort of like concrete evidence like all right this person caught your red hand and doing something you shouldn't have done no that's one thing that i will say um no but like i said don't think for one second that this person's not suspicious of you don't think for one second that this person doesn't have a particular person in mind that you could very well be um doing things with behind their back don't think for a second that that's not the case they may not have the concrete evidence to pin you to absolutely any crime as of right now anyways but that doesn't necessarily mean your person's not suspicious of you all right so then there's that but yeah that's all i have for you taurus hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated and i will see you guys in your next reading bye